the second Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya and the leader of our coalition as Mio One Kenya, Your Excellency Kalonzo Msioka, the 10th Vice President and the leader of uh, the Waipa Democratic Movement, Excellencies Governors, my good friend Malombe and Mutula, uh, my brother Oparanya, Professor Wajakoya, Senators, Members of Parliament, MCS, our bishops, the clergy, na familia ya wili mwasia. Na wote ambao mekuja, muyai ni museo, mavinda onde, mrembe. Oh, munajua hiyo pia. <laughs> Asante ni sana, sisi tumekuja hapa kwanza kusema pole kwa mjane na familia ya wili mwasia. Tumekuja kuomboleza na ndugu yetu Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Msioka vile umesikia alikuwa na matanga mengine wakati wa Krismasi kule kwale. Wengi hatukuweza kufika kule sababu tulikuwa tumetawanyika. Lakini tuliposikia amepoteza tena brother in law wake ndio umeona tumekuja hapa kwa wingi kusema pole kwake na familia kama familia ya azimio na kuambia ya kwamba tuko pamoja vile vile kusema pole kwa mama poli na ambaye hangekuwa nasi hapa siku ya leo kwa pigo hili na kuwashukuru sana watu wa ukambani sababu kama familia ya azimio twajua ya kwamba mmesimama nasi kupitia ndugu yetu Stephen Kalonzo Msioka ukambani mumekuwa imara nyuma ya baba nyuma ya azimio tunasema asante ni kwenu na pia wabunge wa Waipa amase ninyi ndio mumekuwa steady kabisa kwenye azimio we want to thank you sababu hamjatingizika hata kidogo kwenye bunge la Kenya na nasema haya sababu tuko tunarudi bungeni baada ya next week bunge likifunguliwa wa Kenya hawa wameweka macho kwenu sababu wakati tumekuwa na hii serikali ya bottom up mambo yamependuka yakaenda bottom down si ndio lakini kuna wabunge 88 waliosimama na wa Kenya wakasema no kwa mambo ya hiyo finance act kuna wabunge 176 walisema yes ndio ule ushuru ukawa doubled kwa mafuta from 8% to 16% vile mambo yameenda juu ni sababu ya sera mbaya ya Kenya kwanza rais mustaafu moyo alikuwa anasema siasa mbaya maisha mbaya lakini wa Kenya baada ya mwaka mmoja wa Kenya kwanza tumekuja gundua ya kwamba sera mbaya maisha mbaya ni sera mbaya za Kenya kwanza ndio zinafanya wa Kenya mnaumia vile mnaumia hivi. Na hiyo ndio sababu tukirudi next week tuwataka wabunge wetu muendelee kuwa imara. Kama azimio tuko imara. Na nataka ni sisitize yale Mheshimiwa Kalonzo amesema na wenzangu. Kwa wale ambao mnaweka ile speculation ya kwamba azimio imegawanyika. I want to assure you azimio remains united. Azimio remains more resolved. Azimio remains more focused to fight for the people of Kenya, to rid Kenya of Zakayo and his taxes. We are very focused. <laughs> Na mambo ya 2027 yasiwape wasiwasi. Sisi tuko tunajipanga. Sisi tuko tunajipanga and the 2027 Azimio lineup is the prerogative of Azimio, is the secret weapon of Azimio. Na vile mnatuona tumekuja hapa tuko pamoja na tuko tunajipanga. Tare kumi mwezi wa nane 2027 watu wa ukambani mkisimama na sisi hiyo siku hakiangai huyu <laughs> Asubuhi na mapema zakayo na ushuru wake tutakuwa tumemalizana. Mutaendelea kushika Steven Kalonzo Musyoka na Raila Odinga na azimio yeah. sisi tuko tayari kuendelea mbele hadi tuhakikishe we actually discharge the sacred duty of reading this country of Zakayo and his high taxes 
hilo ndio lengo letu kubwa nikimalizia pia mwajua bwana Steven Kalonzo Msyoka ni kiongozi anayetegemea wakati kazimio he holds a very special place in the azimio family amesimama na baba mara tatu na mimi nataka niwaambie ukambani waswahili wanasema subra huvutaheri Sijui kama mnanielewa jamani. Wanasema mvumilivu hula nini? Na Biblia sababu bishops wako hapa. The scriptures say let us not be weary in well doing. For in this season we shall reap if we fail not. Pale mbele mimi naona mbele ni sawa. Bishop vile umetuombea hapa mbele ni sawa. Ninyi mtuombee. Mwisho mambo yanayokuja kule bungeni. Bwana Stephen Kalonzo Msyoka alitumwa na kiongozi wetu Raila Odinga to leaders kule Bomas ili tusukume zakayo ashukishe ushuru ili tupiganie demokrasia yetu na tuhakikishe ya kwamba IBC ile commission itakuja iwe ni ya Wakenya wote. Lakini wenzetu when we went to Bomas Tulifika pahala mi nikagundua they lacked good will. Walikataa mambo ya wananchi ya cost of living wakaweka kan. They came to bombers with dangerous cards under the table. Na waliweka ile kadi ile hatari ya kwanza wakakataa mambo ya cost of living. Ni kwa sababu wana mipango ya kuongeza ushuru tena. Already as we speak as parliament resumes they are tabling the budget policy statement the bps is already showing the intention of kenya kwanza kuongeza ushuru maradufu kama uko hapa na uko na ngombe yako zakayo ako anakuja kwa boma kuhesabu una ngombe ngapi wewe anahesabu uko na mbuzi ngapi hata uko kwetu nimeona anaanza kuhesabu kuku ukifika kwa kuku sisi waluya <laughs> Hapo utakuwa umetumaliza ni sababu wana nia ya ku, ku, kuongeza ushuru. Na sisi tunasema wenzetu tunaenda kupambana nao kule bungeni. Lakini 